Kensington Palace confirmed the incredible news on Monday 4 September, and since then it was then announced the Duchess of Cambridge is suffering from severe morning sickness, or hyperemesis gravidarum, and has cancelled upcoming royal appointments. However, friends and family have been on hand to give a wealth of updates on the expecting mother, and here is all the latest news surrounding Kate. Monday 25th December, Kate Middleton steps out alongside Meghan Markle, Prince Harry and Prince William for Christmas Day service. The royal family stepped out in full force on Christmas Day, to spend time at the Sandringham Estate alongside the Queen. Kate looked at ease as she concealed her baby bump alongside her doting husband Prince William. She was joined by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry as the newly engaged couple prepare to spend their first Christmas together in royal surroundings. Tuesday 12th December, Duchess of Cambridge hands out Christmas presents to children during visit to Rugby Portobello Trust. The expectant Duchess of Cambridge looked as beautiful as ever when she arrived in North Kensington. Sporting a maroon tweed coat, teamed with sheer black tights and her beloved, block heel shoes, Kate Middleton was visibly glowing as she showed her support for the Rugby Portobello Trust. She met with the Magic Moms group, handing presents to some of the young children. Kate, who was pregnant with her third child, looked delighted to be meeting the youngsters, and no doubt told them all about her own children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte. Wednesday 6 December Pregnant Kate Middleton cradles her baby bump as she arrives in Manchester alongside husband Prince William. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's first engagement of their Manchester visit on Wednesday 6 December was to the BBC Children's Department to hear about their workshop stepping out. The session is a focus group where young people are able to give children's editorial staff and content producers their view of how they respond to new programs. As she spoke with staff at the BBC, Kate her stunning ensemble of a high neck, red dress which featured a ruffled collar, Wednesday 22 November, Kate Middleton changes outfit for second royal engagement as she visits Aston Villa Football Club with Prince William. The Duchess of Cambridge has had a busy day, spending the morning at Jaguar Land Rover, before making a visit to Aston Villa Football Club this afternoon. While she arrived at Land Rover in a smart ensemble of a navy coat and heel boots, she dressed down for her visit at the sports club. Sporting new balanced trainers and a pair of comfy, slim black trousers, Kate kept warm in a matching roll neck and bright red puffer jacket. Prince William's wife could be seen resting her hand on her growing stomach as she chatted to employees at the club, 
looking radiant despite the windy weather. Wednesday 22 November, Duchess of Cambridge showcases baby bump for the first time as pregnant royal visits Birmingham with Prince William. Pregnant Kate Middleton showed off her gorgeous baby bump as she carried out royal duties with her husband Prince William in Birmingham. The 35-year-old was all smiles as she arrived at the Jaguar Land Rover manufacturing plant in Solihull, wearing a chic black coat with white detailing. Mother of two Kate kept the rest of her outfit classy as she wore black suede knee-high boots, with black jeans. Shaking hands upon arrival, the royal small baby bump could be seen, as she flashed a wide smile. Saturday 11th November Duchess of Cambridge pays respect to war heroes as she shows hint of baby bump at the Festival of Remembrance. Kate Middleton paid her respects at the Royal Festival of Remembrance alongside the Queen and Prince Philip. Kate looked beautifully demure in a velvet black ensemble with exquisite button detail, wearing her hair wavy and her makeup kept to a minimum. The Royal, who is set to give birth in April, showed off the first signs of her baby bump as she paid her respects, sporting a stunning huge poppy as tribute as she did. The festival commemorates all those who have lost their lives in conflicts. Wednesday 8 November, Kate Middleton conceals baby bump as she opens a London mental health conference on solo outing. Kate Middleton wrapped up her blossoming baby bump as she braved the icy November weather in the capital as she attended a forum on how schools can tackle mental health problems. The Duchess of Cambridge, who is a royal patron of Place to Be School Leaders Forum, beamed as she stepped out and waved to royal fans without her husband in tow. Hiding her bump Prince William's wife glowed as she stepped up for the inspirational day, where she opened the entire conference. Sunday 5th November, Kate Middleton and Prince William have secret getaway with their children to Chester. On Sunday, Pregnant Kate Middleton was spotted with her husband Prince William and their two children, Prince George, 4, and Princess Charlotte, 2, at Chester Railway Station. The family were pictured by their Range Rover, before boarding a train and heading back to London, according to the Chester Chronicle. The royal couple were said to be accompanied by protection officers throughout their visit. Staff at the station saw the family walk past, with the Duchess displaying her baby bump, while Prince William looked casual in a pair of Nike trainers. Tuesday 31st October, Kate Middleton conceals baby bump at the Lawn Tennis Association in an unusual outfit choice.
The Duchess of Cambridge looked in high spirits as she stepped out at the Lawn Tennis Association at the National Tennis Centre, after becoming a patron back in December 2016. Kate Middleton, who is suffering from severe morning sickness, flashed a beaming smile at the cameras as she concealed her baby bump under a comfortable fleece and jogging bottoms. Wearing her hair in a ponytail and keeping makeup to a minimum, Kate looked happy as she attended the sporting event, donning a patriotic poppy as she headed to meet ambassadors. Wednesday 18 October, did Kate Middleton fall pregnant while angry with Prince William? The Duchess of Cambridge's due date of April 2018 could suggest the date of Prince George and Princess Charlotte's siblings' conception may have been during the couple's royal tour of Germany and Poland earlier in the summer. The visit had been an attempt to boost relations, but a photo of a stony-faced Kate stole the limelight. Kate was pictured looked less than impressed as she left a Warsaw Garden party to celebrate the Queen's birthday, alongside her husband. The mum of two didn't seem to want to look her husband in the eye and kept her steely gaze focused straight ahead. Wednesday 18 October, Kate Middleton and Prince William visit London Stadium with Prince Harry to watch We Are Coach Cora Pettis graduation. Kate, William and Harry are visiting the London Stadium today, Wednesday 18 October, for the We Are Coach Cora Pettis graduation. The apprenticeship takes young people aged 16 to 24 and trains them to be sports coaches and positive role models, as well as mentors for their communities. Kate Middleton looked as stylish as always at the event, keeping her bump under wraps in a smart, double-breasted blue jacket and a pair of black slim-fitting trousers. The couple looked on as Harry gave a passionate speech about the work at the stadium, saying he, along with his brother and Kate Middleton, are incredibly proud of everyone involved in the Coach Corps program. Tuesday 17 October, Kensington Palace confirms Kate Middleton and Prince William will tour Sweden and Norway early next year. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have announced their plans to visit Norway and Sweden early 2018. The news was confirmed on this morning by Kensington Palace. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will undertake an official visit to Norway and Sweden at the request of the FCO in early 2018, the statement read. The tour is apparently an attempt to strengthen relations with other European countries, as the UK makes preparations to leave the EU. Tuesday 17 October, Kate Middleton's due date as a palace confirm her and Prince William will welcome third baby in April. It has now been confirmed the Duchess of Cambridge will be giving birth in April. A statement from Kensington Palace Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are delighted to confirm they are expecting a baby in April 2018.
While the gender of the little one has not been confirmed, they will join Prince George and Princess Charlotte. Friday 13 October, Kate Middleton slammed by trolls for being too thin as she makes first public appearance since announcing third pregnancy. Pregnant Kate Middleton has been branded too thin by some online social media users after making her first public appearance since announcing her third pregnancy. Writing on Kensington Royals account alongside a picture of Kate and Prince William, one user wrote, I can't believe she's prego, she looks too thin. Others commented, I thought she was pregnant. And, she hardly looks preg. A fourth person wrote, she's so thin. I hope she's doing better. Tuesday 10 October, Kate Middleton may have the gender of her third child as she and Prince William make their first public appearance since the announcement. Pregnant Kate Middleton has showcased her baby bump for the first time he since announcing her third pregnancy on September 4. She wore a beautiful delicate lace dress, paired with black pumps and a matching clutch bang. But it was the blue hue of her outfit that has led to speculation that she may be having a baby boy. The Duchess of Cambridge looked radiant as she walked alongside Prince William. Monday 1 October, Prince William set to travel to New Zealand for royal duties without Kate. Prince William will be leaving pregnant wife Kate at home in London as he travels to New Zealand on official royal duties. Kensington Palace announced that father of two William will be representing the Queen in the Commonwealth nation at an event on October 12. The tweet read, the Duke of Cambridge, representing HM the Queen, will attend the New Zealand commemoration for the Battle of Paschendel on October 12. Friday, September 29, Prince William reveals what Kate is using to combat severe morning sickness. During an appearance at a reception celebrating the Metropolitan and City Police Orphans Fund, the Prince met Iris Orell, who had some advice for the royal. When the 98-year-old she also suffered from hyperemesis gravidromo and pregnant, the Duke asked her, did it get worse with each pregnancy? After she admitted her symptoms did worsen, she her doctor advised her to try dry biscuits. William also explained he was told ginger helped, adding, ginger biscuits. But there's not much ginger can do to stop that, we've done all that. Wednesday, September 27, 2017, Prince William reveals Kate Middleton's pregnancy symptoms Prince William that his wife Kate is struggling to sleep after announcing her third pregnancy. During his first appearance since the baby news, 
he said, there's not a lot of sleep going on at the moment. Tuesday 26 September 2017, when can we expect the royal baby? Reports suggest that the nation could be expecting the royal baby between March and May 2018. If Kate is currently seven weeks pregnant, her third child will arrive in April 2018. However, if she is only five weeks pregnant, the nation could be waiting until May 2018. Wednesday 20th September 2017, Kate to make first public appearance since third pregnancy announcement. The Duchess of Cambridge will join her husband and his brother Prince Harry at Buckingham Palace on October 10 at an event to celebrate the contribution of those working in the mental health sector across the UK. The reception will be held on World Mental Health Day and will focus on the importance of mental health. Kate hasn't been seen in public since her exciting pregnancy news was shared on September 4, 2017 as she has been forced to take a break from her public duties while suffering from hyperemesis gravidarum during her third pregnancy. Wednesday 20th September 2017, Prince William hints Duchess of Cambridge could give birth sooner than thought. After it was announced the Duchess of Cambridge is pregnant with her third child, it was assumed she was around the three-month mark. But during a visit to Spitalfield's Crypt Trust, Prince William dropped a hint that Kate Middleton may be further along in her pregnancy than originally thought. After the father of Prince George was congratulated on his wife's third pregnancy by a midwife, Prince William replied, ''All the best with the midwifery, I may see you sooner than you think.'' Monday 18 September 2017, Kate makes first appearance since announcing pregnancy Kate has made her first appearance in a video to show her support for the You're Never Too Young to Talk mental health campaign for the Anna Freud National Center for Children and Families. Speaking to the camera. No sign of a baby bump is shown as the Duchess speaks of the importance of mental health awareness. Monday 18 September 2017, Meghan Markle asks Duchess of Cambridge to be made of honour Prince Harry's long-term girlfriend Meghan Markle has reportedly asked her future sister-in-law Kate Middleton to be her maid of honour according to publication Woman's Day. The Suits actress is said to have sent a Senna gift to Prince William's pregnant wife in the form of a rose gold diamond bracelet worth over £1,000, along with a note asking her to take on the exciting role. Friday 15th September 2017, is this the reason Kate and William are having a third child? It is thought the royal couple decided to have another baby after William tragically lost his mother, Princess Diana, at a young age. According to reports, William and Kate would like the children to have a good emotional support system in each other, like the prince had with his younger brother Harry after the loss of their mother in 1997.
Thursday 14th September 2017, Gender of Royal Baby? A royal insider has dropped a huge hint about the gender of the third child, as the couple prepare to welcome another baby. According to a source, Kate's eating habits have hinted that she's having a baby girl. The source said, Kate has always wanted a third child. She has been trying for another baby for months. She is suffering from nausea and morning sickness again, and she cannot stop eating spicy food and candy. Wednesday 13 September 2017, due date by Prince William. After receiving congratulations from an audience member at the National Mental Health and Policing Conference in Oxford, the future King said, Thank you, it's very good news. There's not much sleep going on at the moment. He then added, it was a bit anxious to start with, but that they can start celebrating this week. Pregnancies are normally announced after the 12-week mark, as it is the end of the first trimester. If this is the case with Will and Kate, they will welcome their third royal baby in March next year. Sunday 10 September 2017, Home Birth Rumors Rumors have begun to emerge that Kate is considering a home birth for her third pregnancy. She previously had Prince George and Princess Charlotte at the Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital, London. However, with the success of her previous pregnancies, a source has claimed she could be opting for a home birth this time round. A source told Mail Online, the Duchess knew it wasn't possible for her first baby to be born at home, but she asked for a home birth for the second. Officials and doctors thought it too risky. There was concern and in the end she decided against it. Thursday 7 September 2017 Prince George's first day of school Kate Middleton was reportedly too ill to take Prince George to his first day of school. She was set to join Prince William to drop their four-year-old son off to Thomas's Battersea, a £18,000 a year preparatory school in South London. Kensington Palace confirmed the news to the Mail Online, saying, Unfortunately the Duchess of Cambridge remains unwell, and will not be able to accompany Prince George on his first day of school. The Duke of Cambridge will drop off Prince George this morning as planned. Tuesday 5 September 2017 Prince William gives update on Kate's pregnancy. Prince William spoke for the first time since announcing he's expecting a third child with wife Kate. The Duke of Cambridge that his wife Kate Middleton's pregnancy has had an anxious start after announcing the Duchess is suffering from extreme morning sickness. Speaking at a conference for mental health and policing in Oxford, William described the pregnancy as very good news. He added, 
It's always a bit anxious to start with, but she's well. We just need Catherine to get over this first bit, then we can start celebrating next week. Monday 4 September 2017 Hyperemesis Gravidarum The palace announced on the same day that Kate was suffering with Hyperemesis Gravidarum, a severe strain of morning sickness causing her to cancel all her royal engagements. Kensington Palace As with their previous two pregnancies, the Duchess is suffering from Hyperemesis Gravidarum. Her Royal Highness will no longer carry out her plan engagement at the Hornsey Road Children's Centre in London today. Monday 4 September 2017, Royal Baby Announcement Kensington Palace took to social media to make the Royal Baby Announcement on September 4. The statement read, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Cambridge is expecting their child. The Queen and members of both families are delighted with the news. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like. Comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every